My show is so hot, honey. The day you can be made to glue free the dairy free. Oh. Hey, darlings. My name is Soraya Sobita with Soraya's Fierce Cooking Show and Soraya's Fierce Kitchen. Olas, olas, olas. Bienvenidos. Hey, happy 4th. You're at Soraya's Fierce Kitchen. I'm Soraya Sobita, the queen of healthy Latin cooking. Not done up. I was done up last night. I went to Hamburger Mary's little July 3rd party. It was very nice. It was also karaoke, which I do often, all the time, with my girls. So today's July 4th, and I'm making a batch of pasteles now. The masa is already made, okay? I made it yesterday. The filling and everything I did a few days ago, the salsita that goes inside, I did a few days ago. What I do with my pasteles, the mix of yautia, which is taro root or malanga, with the small green and the large green bananas, the malanga gives it creamy. If you rely totally on the green plantains, your pasteles may be hard. Like when you go with a fork, that is like so hard, you know. Some people like their pasteles like that, I don't. I like my pasteles to be very succulent. I like them to be soft. I like that when you go with a fork to it, it's almost like butter. I like a real beautiful smooth texture. When you look at it, it's really smooth. That's my preference. Some people add coconut milk or dairy milk in order to get that smoothness and I've enjoyed pasteles like that in the past, actually I've done that too, but I was dairy free for a long time and I was actually putting coconut milk. But at this time, I'm not adding any milks. No coconut milk, no type of non-dairy milk. I rely totally on the yautia, the small cooking bananas, which also have more moisture, like the yautia, taro root, malanga, same family gives you moisture in your pasteles that if you take the time to puree your pasteles are going to come out like I said very creamy very smooth smooth texture okay but let's not be perfectionists I know I get people at the stand and I don't think they really care how the texture is I do because I'm a chef right I want to give you the best but some people are like they just want the flavor of the pastel masa which is a very unique flavor okay so what I do is I make a little alcapurria patty and I test it that way and if I need to add adobo, salt, garlic, whatever, coloring, blah, 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 I add it before I commit to, to making the pasteles, right? And if you have not made your pasteles with a food processor yet, I totally advise that you work with a food processor. It's so much easier. And actually, last week I got to make my first batch of pasteles at the stand and they came out amazing. I mean. I was really, the, you know, the culinary divas like my mom, Iris, my grandmother, Aidita. Now my brother David, God, God bless his soul, may he rest in peace. All those foodies are up there. They were like, where my mama with your, with your generator? I said, no pastele from scratch at the stand. And they were amazing. I cannot promise you that that's going to happen every week. Can I promise you, in fact, I really want to concentrate on the social dining here in the apartment. I had my first party last week and it was amazing. And what I like about the social dining, and I think you'd like it too, if you're interested in trying my food, come while I'm at the stand. But with the social dining, the food is straight from the stove, hot, fresh. I have time to garnish, I have time to plate properly. It was amazing. I was like, oh my god, I want a restaurant. And I had really nice pink grapefruit perrier. Yeah, I never saw that before. And I offered it to my guests. I had these pink goblets and oh, it was such a pleasure serving them and making sure the food was great and refreshing their drinks. I loved it. I loved it. And you know, they were cool, they were there chatting and left me alone in the kitchen, which I love. Let me just do my thing. I don't know, go, go sit, talk. <laughs> oh, I adore it. Here with social dining, it's much more direct. And I love it, love it. So, uh, and I love the stand too. You saw how nice the booth is? People take pictures, it's so cute. Marilyn's there. <laughs> Sorry, I have such a fascination to her. So, um, we're gonna go now to the soap, I'm gonna show you. And then we're gonna throw making the pasteles. Happy 4th of July! So I have a little Cuisinart skillet. So I just put like a tablespoon of the masa that I made yesterday. I decided to let the masa rest 
I am a big foodie and that mouse that was talking to me and it said to me we want to sit for an evening and we want all the flavors to combine. So I heeded to the advice of I guess my inner guidance system was also talking and saying let's just wait till the next day to do it which is today. I have a little patty there. I just flipped it. This cooks super, 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 and basically, what this is is an alcatufia, and this is something else I will present to the stand or my social dining. This is something I adore, and I was doing this when I was doing turkey as a filling, which is to make the alcatufia masa is the same to me as the pasteles. It's exactly the same, only the alcatufias are fried. I don't fry, I cook in a nonstick skillet like this. So, this is pan fried, sauteed. And what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of the sauce on it, put a little bit of the meat with the olive and get the totally exact flavor. She's on medium to high heat. Okay, so we're ready now to add a little bit of the salsita. I'm gonna start with that. So I just wanna flip it just to get her a little warm. And she doesn't have to be super, 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 I'm just gonna throw the olive, they're just, you know, they're not too much because, you know, these are salty and I have to watch my salt. So here it's just a little patty, that's all it is. And we're gonna taste it, I'm gonna let it sit there and cool. And you can see, right? You can see this little plate of food, right? <laughs> anyway, just a little sample, you know, just to taste, it's so hot. She's so good. I would love for you to try this as an appetizer. Um, pasteles are fabulous. They really are. This is an alcaburria to me because it's cooked on the skillet with some fat. Kind of like that fried vibe going on. And then you could do a little crispy on the masa. The pasteles, they're not like that. They're boiled. It's like a tamale. So it's, it's like a dumpling in some ways, right? So you gotta like, really love pasteles or be very adventurous with cooking and food. Ethiopian, West Indian, Jamaican, you know, that Caribbean, African, Latin thing that mix to really enjoy the texture and taste of pasteles. Now, when it comes to la capulias, it's a little different. When you get it brown like this, whoop, and when you crisp it a bit, it's just it's just amazing. So you get that little char thing going on with all the same spices and flavors of, of pasteles, the plantain, malanga, meat, sauce, olive. I love the taste of masa. Do you? Malanga and inginietos, oh my God, it's, it's just such a beautiful taste. This is totally vegan. It's totally plant-based. I mean, you know, come on, it's so cute. Look at that big old piece. Ah! My God. Mm -hmm. You really quick one with the olive? Doesn't need any salt. I used to make my pasteles in the beginning with my library presentations with the parchment paper because I was being hired not only to do our healthy Puerto Rican food, which was not vegan at the time, it was the turkey mix that I was doing, which was fabulous, fabulous. But they wanted the pasteles as they are, authentically, are totally biodegradable, right? So that means they're in parchment paper and banana leaves. That means everything about the dish, after you eat it, it can go right back, it can compost, it can get broken down into the earth and, and be recycled, this, which is a very beautiful thing, right? That's just how, with natural eating, how many cultures ate back in the day, was no aluminum foil, no plastics. And, excuse me, actually my pasteles too, do not have any sazon. So no MSG and no artificial food colorings, which I know still a lot of people today, a lot of Latinos cook with the MSG, the little sazon packets, God bless them. I used to rely on them totally, um, but they're not good for you. They're not good for the brain. The MSG and the food coloring there is just not good for your brain. It's not good for you. It's not good for you at all. Huh. See, that car honk was an agreement. So I'm gonna have one of these bad boys today on 4th of July for my dinner. I have some marron gandules that I made for my guests last weekend. How long is this? Oh my god, almost 10 minutes of vegan Puerto Rican. Drama. Drama. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. My lovely guests wanted a vegan. 
meat. So I have these really excellent chicken strips that I make that are like my recipe. So I made it for them. They loved it. They came up fierce. You know what I dusted it with to coat it? Flaxseed meal and bulgur wheat. I, my first time I'm using it. And bulgur wheat, I added it. It gave it crisp and it cooked really nice. It gave it a beautiful coating, which is, I like to see texture and I like to see different colors. So the bulgur wheat really added that. Oh, it's fabulous. It was, it was, oh, it was terrific. And then I put cumin, oregano, and spices, you know, make it taste like chicken. Girl, it worked, honey. My guests loved it. It was so much fun. God, let me do that every day of my life. Let me experiment with my vegan, vegetarian, Puerto Rican cooking. Let me feed you. Let me entertain you. Let me make you smile. Pasteles a capurias and vegan empanadas. Arro en gandules y apichuelas pisada. It'll make you smile. Oh, let me entertain you. And for dessert, I'll serve you my damn blanket. Oh, yeah, you didn't see me shaking my boobies. We'll have a delicious damn blanket for dessert. Oh, yeah. The pastelis. So, we're going to start now. This is basically for some friends of mine that are Latin. So many different girls I'm meeting. I cut the aluminum foil and spray with a little bit of cooking spray and then I put a, just a little bit of the achote oil just a little, just a little, just to kind of give it the color I always use a half a cup of masa and there's plenty of YouTube videos of children doing their pasteles it's the same thing, everybody does it pretty much the same I really, I like making love to my food I really like, you know, touching the masa, getting it the way I want, right? very good, we use our gloves and like I was saying, there's girls, you know, like people are finding out what I'm doing. The girls, some of the girls at the club are like, oh, you know, I saw your YouTube videos. Y esto lo otro, y que tú haces pastel. Ay, Dios mío, nena. Ay, que no puedo encontrar pasteles por aquí. So it's so cool. And I knew that when I came to California, that um, there's not a lot of Puerto Rican eateries here. Now, I'm adding almost two tablespoons of my vegan beef, which is the same beef seasoning. It's exactly what I use for my empanadas, right? So that's so cool that I can transfer that filling into the pasteles, and it's been favorable. People like it. And what I do sometimes is add calvanzos because it gives you texture, but I'm not going to do that today. And so I add maybe like a half a tablespoon of salsita. We just garnish with a few olives. And then we go into folding, if you could see. It's just a real simple procedure. You just fold it in half, right? And then you bring her around. And you get her whatever shape you want. I like getting her kind of flat. So then this way it maybe cooks faster. And then you just crease the foil like I'm doing. And then you just bring it over. And then you take the sides and you just press the center. Press the center. Right, you got it, you got it the shape that you want, and then you just fold the edges, just fold the edges like that. Right, no biggie, no biggie, no biggie smalls, God bless them, rest in peace. I saw them one time and uh, when I was living in New York, downtown by Carmine Street, down there, Blica. I was shocked. That's when he was in the height of his career. See, now these are cute and small, you know. So let's do another one. Okay, so we grab another sheet of aluminum foil and just spray with cooking spray. Uh, and then we do a little bit of our chote oil. Alright, that's got some bits of meat, that's fine. That's the vegan beef. We do another half cup of the masa, level, alright. You can make these bigger if you want. You can make one cup, two third cup, whatever you want. You can make them small if you'd like. And I just tapping it down. Yeah, that booty girl. <laughs> and then, um, like almost two tablespoons of meat, you know, whatever way you want to do it. And again, this is not animal meat. This is my vegan beef, which I will never <laughs> do a recipe of my vegan beef. I'm sorry, that's my little secret recipe that I'm so proud of. Absolutely proud of that. So I like to add a generous amount. All right, 
And then we just garnish with some olives, just a little bit. Remember, these have some salt in them, so be careful. It's really interesting to see people at the stand and their sensitivities to salt. So this is another reason why I like to mellow them out. I don't like to make them too, too flavorful because salt does that flavor, right? You know that. So we just take the pastel, fold it in half. Don't you ever worry about the filling and how it's going to come out. Nope, don't worry about it when you fold it. You fold it with, with pride and with confidence. You just fold away, fold away. You can never get it wrong because you'll never absolutely get it totally right all the time. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Just enjoy it, enjoy the process, you know. If you want to cook for your family, you want to cook for yourself. I like knowing what's in my food. I like knowing what I'm eating. So this is the pastel. Oh, good chat, and it's cool. The more, blah, 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 blah. You know, maybe talk about my girlfriends at Hamburger Mary's, you know. I'm newly transitioning as transgender, so here in Long Beach is where I decided to birth as a Sarai in that way as a transgender woman. I'm having a blast and I'm really grateful for the women. These are the women that I'm meeting, the women that are my friends, are my first opportunity in connecting with other transgender women. And some of the girls there, I don't know all of them, but the ones that I know, the friends that I've made, they're amazing. I really like them a lot. And it's so cool. And it's so nice to see other women who are trans, gender, interpret what a woman looks like to them and means to them. And it's nice to see like the variety of looks and styles and personalities. Some girls aren't friendly, some are, you know, whatever. I wasn't friendly <laughs> when I started going. I was so mean to some of the girls. You know, I was very protective. I was shady. I was shady, so I will admit it. Now we fold. I was shady. Them girls were like, ah. I don't know what to expect. I'm not that social. I'm social, but not really. <laughs> I hold back a little bit until I get to know you. And some of the same girls that I was throwing shade to are like, my friends, it's so cool. They put up with my little crazy ass. I was so shady, girl. I didn't think I was better than them. As you know, I don't drink, I don't smoke. It's just the club scene, I was always cautious of the club scene. I'm no angel, I can get sucked into all of that. Coming out cute and small. You see how they're different sizes, even though I use half a cup of masa? I don't know. That's the size. the way it is. I'm going to finish making the pasteles. And then, when I cook my dinner later, you'll see the whole plate that I'm, that I'm going to have. Uh, I'm going to say hi to Sasha because I'm making these pasteles with you and mine, girl. She's so pretty. It's one of the girls at Hamburger Mary's. And I want to thank Jamie and everybody there. Let's have such a good time singing my songs. I'm gonna finish and then we'll be back later. Okay. Feliz Navidad. You have your pasteles and la Navidad. But in Soraya's kitchen, Soraya's Sweet's kitchen, you have pasteles every day of the year if you want. Oh, Feliz Navidad. But hoy no es Navidad. Hoy es 4th of July y todavía se come un pastel bien rico que son vegan. I wanna wish you a happy 4th of July. I wanna wish you a happy 4th of July. I wanna wish you a happy 4th of July from the bottom of my transgender Puerto Rican vegan heart. Hi. So, here, look, look, looky look. Mira que lindo que son. We have maybe 14, 15. I like keeping pasteles in the freezer year round if possible, right? Especially now with the stand, now with the social dining, I'll definitely keep them stocked. It's always a good thing. So on a holiday like today, I like to splurge a little bit, have one of my pasteles with a rojo gandules, with a little bit of bichuelas guisada, and the Morningstar Farms chicken nuggets. Uh, their chicken nuggets or their vegetarian sausage. But I do want to say that some products I love are the Follow Your Heart cheeses. All of their cheeses are amazing. This is the American and the Provolone is amazing. And then another product that I totally love is the Eves, Ives. Uh, they're veggie bologna, but all of the veggie cocas, their salami, the turkeys are all consistently very, very good. Very great product. The Gardein fish fillets are amazing. Amazing. Oh my, I have a 
a taste for like a ro blanco with fish fillets and tostones. Oh my god, it was so good. And then uh, my Zevia sodas, I adore these totally. I've gotten off of a Spartaman, which has not been easy. And I drink the Zevia sodas. So I showed you my pasteles. So I'm gonna start cooking my pastel in my dinner and then I'm gonna show you my plate. And now I'm going to have one. So I'm gonna show you the little plate with the arrogandules, some beans and the pastel. Okay, let's go. So here we are, my pastel. Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> my pastel, arrogandules, really cool. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Yes, I'm gonna have this as my July 4th dinner. I love pasteles. I love arrogandula bichuela. And I got some Morningstar Farms uh, chicken nuggets. And I'm watching Tangerine since now I live in LA. <laughs> I kind of know where all those places are. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is basically the assembly of the pasteles. And it's a vegan pastel. Secret recipe, but at least I got to share some assembly and some story behind them. Okay, so thank you so much. We'll talk soon. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. Need a new recipe? Well, I'm the one to see. Time it rolls along, you wanna hear my song? So welcome to my show. My show is so hot, honey. The fish, the meat. Oh. Hey, darlings. Hey, I'm in the hospital today for pre-op tests for facial team. For my facial feminization, it's very beautiful. I am so close to the hospital and the doctors. I am so glad I found the hotel that I found. Super, 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 super close. And then the rate I got was really good. So, very clean, very nice. Um, yeah. So, and the drivers come on time. So cute. <laughs> so, uh, tomorrow is going to be the consultations, but today is the blood work and the tests and the CT scans and um, EKG and all of that stuff. So, okay. All right. Bye. Hey, I'm here at Facial Team for my feminization. They did my hairline marking uh, for my hair transplant. And I'm ready, and this is the room. Yes, honey. So uh, I'm excited, I'm excited. I met Dr. Capitan, El Capitan. Ay, que chulos son ellos, los tres son bastante guapo. Ay, Dios mío. Soy como, son como tres, three kings. Another Latino is like the three kings. La Latina is también. Okay. Mira el cuartito tan limpio, tan cariñoso son ellos. Oh my God, I can't wait. Me, me alegro mucho que lo estoy haciendo en español. En España, man. Qué, qué cosa, qué cosa bonita, bonita, qué bueno. Qué bueno es el Dios, Jesucristo. Oh my God. I am so fortunate. Let me tell you to be doing my surgery. It was on a thing con face tape. But I'm hoping I won't have to do that anymore. Okay, hablamos. Bye. Cuídate. La belleza cuesta, pero no cuesta mal. Una forma mal. Una forma perfecto. Okay, bye. Doctors are gonna call it serious, so so anyway. Bye. Girl, take, take it. Care. Bye. 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 Welcome to my show, honey. Welcome to Soraya's Kitchen. When you're feeling blue, you don't know what to do. Carrying such a heavy load, honey, feels like you're all alone. You need a new recipe, well, I'm the one to see. Time it rolls along, you wanna hear my song? So welcome to my show. My show is so hot, honey. The vegan meat, the gluten free, the dairy free. Oh. Hey, darling. No more for a man. No more for a man. 
But anyway, tonight's karaoke. How long is this? Girl. Hi everybody, this is Soraya with another family video. Yes, indeed, here we go. There is my mom and my favorite aunt in the whole world, Titi. My mother's holding my brother Alex, newborn, very newborn. There is myself and my sister Marianne, who are all clamoring around and me sticking my tongue out being all feisty. And there is my sister Meaty and her buttocks. <laughs> Yes, black cat. Ooh. My little brother Alex, he was so cute, me and I Oh my God, I was so anticipating his arrival. And my mom, my goodness, I miss her. You guys know, she's not here with us. And there's Miti and Papo. No, oh, they were so young. Look at them, so young and happy. Look at me being all pissed off as usual. <laughs> and my cousin Aidita and me, we were so close. And my cousin Michael playing, so cute. Those were the good old days. Bye. And then when you see real fine Papi Chulo, you, I have to like that too. Me to the floor! I think Papi, you're very cute, I have to say. So I dedicate this little thing to you. <laughs> do you, you no. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Do you think that right, Papi? Yeah, do you think that right, Papi? I want to make me a similar. I mean, I see me. It's not chulo. It's not too long. I can't be But I can't be happy. You're the mirror. 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 You're the Ay, no, espérate, que si te equipo de vida, yo no, 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 no,